This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at color basics in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, we'll look at the new comparison view in Premiere in the color wheels. Here, for instance, I've got a train. Notice how nice and brown that is, how rich the colors are. Well, we somehow managed to screw up the color on this one. Notice how it's gone blue-green, and the engine's got no color to it at all. It's just no snap. So what I want to do is I want to take and match this clip to this clip. We're going to switch to a new view called Comparison View. What Comparison View is, it shows me the entire timeline on the left, not a single shot, the entire timeline, and the clip that I want to adjust on the right. So I grab this slider and find the shot that I like, this one right there, and I say that's the shot that I like. This is the shot that I want to fix. Now I could look at it side by side, or split screen, or top to bottom, side to side is fine. And I can trade positions, but now that I've found my clip, how do I match them? Click Apply Match. And notice how it's made a quick color adjustment to the selected clip. It's always the selected clip. Made a quick color adjustment so that now it looks a whole lot more like our train engine. Not perfect. Again, these automatic controls are not as good as doing it manually, but this is a whole lot better than it used to be. Here's another example. She is green. I want to have her look the same kind of warm, warm, warm orange color that Lisa is. I want to have this clip match. Select it. We're already in comparison view. We're going to apply a match. So I'm going to find the clip that's got Lisa's face on it. There we are. And say match it. And it dials out the green and it gives me that look. The comparison view toggle it on and off just by clicking the button. Comparison view allows me to compare whatever clip the playhead is in. Not, And notice that it automatically selects the clip, which is very smart of Premiere, because I will forget that. It displays the clip the playhead is in with the entire timeline, and you can drag the slider around to find the shot that you like. Once you find the shot that you like, you say, hey, that's the look that I want for this clip. Click Apply Match and it changes the color of whatever clip the playhead is in that's automatically selected to match the color of the clip that you have here. Turn off Comparison View, click it again. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at color basics in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.com store and look for Webinar 268. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.